Uh, hang on one second. Yeah, I'm recording just fine. You, you got it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Harm, you can record? Um, yeah, looks like it. Okay. Uh, JD, you can record? All good here. Yep. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well, all right. We'll go ahead and get started here with uh, Alex. Did you want to record? Oh, I'm, I've got it on my phone. Thank you. Okay. All right. Fantastic. All right. Well, then uh, we'll go ahead and get started with Derek here. Uh, Mike, why don't you start us off? Hey, Derek. What's up, boss? I didn't know I was a boss, but if you say so. Uh, <laughs> Everybody bosses out of here. <laughs> oh, so it's not special. <laughs> You can, however you want to take it. <laughs> just kind of, I mean, you guys are back in pads now, maybe not every day, but just to have that, the padded practices, uh -huh. feel, feel more like football. And does this, I mean, uh, this is kind of called training camp. Does it feel like training camp? I'm um, sort of kind of, uh, you know, with school mixed in with the whole practice thing, me and thing, but it kind of feels like that on the outside of school. So. Just kind of evaluate what you've seen out of the linebackers and um, who's doing well and who's kind of caught your eye. Um, well, actually, all the linebackers have been getting better. Um, young guys have been learning from older guys, getting the playbook. Uh, we've been great role models to our younger guys. Uh, everyone's getting better. Everybody has a chance. So I just think as we continue to grow together, uh, in linebacker room, everything will be great. Um, you know, you, Things got stopped in the spring when you guys were installing the new defense, and then I assume the rest of the spring and summer, a lot of mental reps and Zoom meetings to to keep the installation going. Did that has the extra time allowed you guys to learn more about this defense, and how much more comfortable are you with the new system and not just a matter of going out and executing it? I would actually say I'm very comfortable. Um, you know, the extra time that we had in the spring and um, somewhat this fall has been great, especially for our defense. Um, learning the new system, uh, Coach Diago coming in and going over the detail. And it's just one thing that we didn't have to rush into. You know, every day was a – you might learn the same thing two days in a row, but it's just to get us prepared and ready for new calls to come in. I think it was a great thing with the time off, um, which didn't happen, but it did. And I think we're getting the best out of it. So. I mean, do you feel everybody's kind of – in that same mode as far as a new comfort level with what you guys plan to do on defense? Yeah, I think everybody's on the same page. Uh, you know, we, we have a goal. And in order to reach our goal, we have to put it all on the field and you know, study and watch film and also come ready to play. So, What, uh, what have you seen out of uh, DeMarcus Mitchell? And where's the one area where you think that he's really going to help you guys? Uh, DeMarcus is a great player. Uh, Great athlete. Uh, he brings a lot of toughness and speed to our, to our defense, which is great. Uh, he's going to be a very first impact player this year, so I'm excited to see. Uh, that's it for me now. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay, Tom. Hey, yeah, Derek, um, talk about your excitement level to be back playing linebacker this year. I'm very excited. Uh, I know it's a right position for me, but, you know, uh, like I said, Whoever team wants me to play, they put back in linebacker. It was kudos. I was excited, uh, very excited. It just feel good to be back to my my natural position. Uh, help a lot, and also helped me a lot playing being last year because now it's, it's easier to study the defense from the linebacker aspect. You know, you need to learn what all levels doing. I think that it helped me. It still good to be back in linebacker. So. Where, 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 where are you going to play in the linebacking core? Are you going to be on the inside? Yes, sir. Middle linebacker. Yes, sir. And then. Um, just talk about uh, maybe your role as a leader this year. You're a true senior. Uh, maybe talk about your role there. Um, just trying to be a leader for this defense. Uh, just to pick the defense up, um, being a guy that people can depend on, uh, especially in the playbook and uh, developing his role as a leader. Uh, I know it's very helpful on the field. Um, I'm just here for my defense, here for the boys, and you know, kind of have that that role. To, they need something, they can come to me no matter what it is, on the field, off the field. Uh, it's been great, you know, Coach always tells me to make sure you need to be that so I'm going to do so. Thank you, Derek. Sure. Okay, J.D.? 
When we talked to you in the spring, uh, you talked about getting ready for this linebacker role, and you said you cut some weight. Uh, so how's, how's that going? Pretty good. I'm um, playing very well where I am now. Um, playing with a linebacker, really don't, as long as you don't get too heavy or too light, it's, it's really no weight limit with that. So I've just been playing where I can move, where I can move, where I can speed, and I also keep my strength. So the way I am now is pretty good. So. Definitely. Uh, you know, you had a lot of success at the beginning of your Purdue career. Um, so I guess, you know, how have you changed as an athlete um, having that year on the line? What part of your skill set do you think you really developed? Uh, I would say my mental state, honestly. Uh, being able to read offenses, read the defense and know what's going on with everybody's position. Uh, I would say that my lessons are get better speed and just, I would just say my IQ of the game has got way better than my freshman year. So what my beginning of the, my Purdue career. All right. Thank you. Okay, Alex. Uh, what's the biggest thing that you think you and the seniors have to do to get the guys up and ready for game day with no fans this year? I would just say stay positive. Uh, you know, fans or no fans, we're out there to have one go and out there to do one thing, and that's the win. Um, so it's just honestly it's just a, just a mindset that you have to have to have your team teammates buy into. Um, I know we're doing pretty good with that. Um, we just decided to play fans, or no fans. I know that's all we talk about is. It's being able to go play on Saturday. Um, so I guess you can say that the national side is more than the fans as of now. So. Um, with uh, the new defense that you guys have been learning over the offseason, uh, are you guys having fun? Or is it still grinding, working out the system? Or is it just is it fun to be in this new system? Uh, well, <laughs> you can't work harder. You're not having fun with it. I would say uh, I think the guys are enjoying it. Uh, just the energy that we have. Um, just we have a bunch of characters on the team, <laughs> as you can see. But um, no, um, I think it's, it's very exciting um, with us. You know, you have to grind. Don't get me wrong. We grind every day. Uh, we want to work hard to get better. We want to send better every day. Uh, that's what you have to do. So that's it for me. Thank you. Do we have any other follow-up questions for anybody? I have a couple. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, Derek, just uh, how much peace of mind do you have knowing that you're tested every day and your teammates are tested every day for COVID? And does that put you at ease at, at, in any way? It does. Uh, I would say um, with me, it makes me it makes me want to say say people more, uh, you know, standing around the right people, not going out, and not doing this and that. I think it's, it's definitely ease, uh, ease to us, uh, especially know that we're positive every day. I think it's great just for us playing the season, you know, this is great thing they got going on. Uh, getting tested every other week, every week was good, but now we're getting tested every day. It's just a more positive vibe with that. So, is there a is there a message in the teams like in order for you guys to have a season, you still need to take care of things when you're out of that building and on your own and you know on campus. I mean, is right. that you know, a a consistent message that is being being talked about? Right, we preach it. Uh, you know, you have to put that in the guy's ear. But at the end of the day, people don't do what they want to do. And if you want to play, you have to put yourself in a position to be able to play and not get the virus and things like that. So we preach it and put in our guy. We just want everybody to be safe so everybody can play. Come Saturday, October 24th. I also wanted to ask you about, there's been a big push across the country about student athletes registering for to vote and also voting. How much have, have you played any kind of role in that? And um, how important of an issue is that to, to you and maybe your teammates to get out and at least get your message heard by, by going to the vote, voting polls in November? Um, I think it's very important for me. It is uh, very eye-opening to me about what's going on in today's society. But, uh, you know, everybody has their own, opi own opinions. Uh, you know, you can't, you can't push anybody to do anything they don't want to do. But um, it's very – people need to do more research about why it's, why it's important to vote. Uh, I know I did. Um, so I just kind of keep that to myself. Um, and if I think it's, it's a big thing, I'll definitely reach out to other people and somebody who's important to. So it's very, people of mind to it, because I, I wasn't big on voting at all. But um, like I said, it's people's own thing. So. And just um, with so much uh, social unrest that's been out there, how do you want the football team to kind of be a, do you want the football team to be a leader on campus as far as being active, but being respectful and just kind of keeping, keeping that message and that keep keeping that dialogue going about what is happening across the country. Right. We just have to be positive role models um, outside of this facility, outside of football. 
and just be, you know, be good people out in the community. Uh, people look at us as, you know, stars or however you want to, want to say it. And we have a big image. And uh, I think it's very important to, you know, to keep that good image with ourselves. Uh, you know, being outside and everybody sees what you're doing, especially playing football. You know, you play football, you know, size wise, no TV. And it's just, if you do anything bad, you know, it's out to the public. And so you just have to be safe to what you're doing. We kind of, you know, appreciate that to our guys also and just be a positive image in our community. So. Okay, that's, a, that's it for Derek. Um, we'll have uh, Jalen Alexander on here in just a second.